Hey, welcome to the Daily Dave. It's Dave. Happy to be back with you again, listening to my shows and listening back. I'm like, yeah, the intros are great, but after you listen to several back to back to back, you're like, hmm, I've heard the same thing many times. So I'm going to just throw it in with a quick intro this way to the Daily Dave. This is the How to Podcast series and wanted to give you some short little episodes, some things to think about around your podcast. And then what I'm doing is I'm repurposing these over on TikTok and over on uh, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. So I wanted to create this for you primarily. So when we talk about search engine optimization, that's when you go to Google and you type something in and see what comes up. So I just went to Google and typed in living the next chapter podcast. I would encourage you to try this yourself and see what happens and see if it mirrors what I see. So that's one of my podcasts, over 200 episodes, 16 months in the process of that podcast. It's really new, but 200 episodes, we're having a great time over at Living the Next Chapter. Go over there and check it out. You can even Google it, Living the Next Chapter Podcast. So when I type in Living the Next Chapter Podcast, here's what I see on my screen, okay? And I want to bring something to your attention. I see my Apple listing, number one. I see my website, livingthenextchapter.com, number two. I see my YouTube channel, Living the Next Chapter Podcast. I see my Buzzsprout, was where I'm hosted for Living the Next Chapter. I see my Spotify listing for Living the Next Chapter, Podchaser for Living the Next Chapter. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The top six on page one of Google for living the next chapter and not one single message of any of my social media, social media platforms. Facebook is not listed here. Not one mention of Facebook, not one mention of Instagram, not one mention of my TikTok, not one mention of my clapper, nothing, nothing. My Apple listing, my website, my YouTube channel, my hosting site, my Spotify listing for the podcast, and Podchaser. Type in the name of your podcast and see what happens. If you've been doing this for a little while, go type it in, see what happens. Do you see any social media information around your show? I post for living the next chapter on all the social platforms that I am on on a regular basis. So, Dave, what are you learning from this? I think you need to be where the search takes people. So, are you on Apple? Yes or no? Are you, do you have a website of your own that you own? Not somebody, 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 slash living the next chapter. No, just living the next chapter. Nothing before, nothing after, not a free host for a website. I own the domain. There is only one, livingthenextchapter.com. There is only one, and it's me. I own the website. I own the address. Living the Next Chapter podcast on YouTube. Number three on my search. Is your podcast on YouTube? It isn't. Okay, well, we need to talk. I can help you with this. It's simple. You take a playlist, put all your episodes in there, and then you convert that to a podcast and it shows up in search, people. It's on the page. It's in front of me on Google. Number three is YouTube, Living the Next Chapter podcast. Buzzsprout supports the podcast and that's where my host is for my show. I love Buzzsprout. It's an amazing place for people who are not super techie. If I hear WordPress one more time, I'm thinking I'm going to yell. <laughs> WordPress, whatever. I have a website that I built myself through my host on GoDaddy, and it's serving me so well. My gosh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so Living the Next Chapter is hosted on GoDaddy. Again, I love it. It's a really great website. Uh, I'd highly recommend it over all of the other sites out there to buy a domain. Again, buy your domain, buy the address. Don't, don't use a free place. Uh, own your audience, own your communication with your audience, own the experience. Don't, 
I hear so many people saying, oh, well, I use Facebook and it is the best thing in the world. Okay, for an aging population, maybe. Um, but the newest, newest people coming up, the younger ones, they're not going to Facebook. Grandma's there sharing your recipes on banana bread. So uh, go, <laughs> go to where your audience is. If your audience is on Facebook, love them and cherish them. Do it. Do it 100%. But for me, I'd rather go where people are going to be not where they are currently or leaving from. It's always good to be ahead of the curve. So I would love for you to do this exercise. Go to google.com. If you've never heard of it, it's pretty amazing. Type in the name of your podcast if you have any episodes in the world at all and tell me what happens. I'd love to hear it. Go to my go to howtopodcast.ca. There's a little speak pipe button. And tell me what happened when you typed in your name of your podcast. I want to know. Did you show up? And what were your, what were the listings and what page were you on? That's interesting. So for me, I was quite impressed and happy to see that the top six listings on page one of Google for Living the Next Chapter are all listed there. There's no one else, just me, little old me, having your podcast online and not under a social media thumb well, you don't own Facebook, people. It's free. If it is free, you're the product. Sorry, you're the product. Hmm. Own your real estate. Stop renting land on social media. Use it as a tool, but don't live there. Okay? I mean, think of like a vacation house, like a place you go to hang out, but you don't actually live there on a day-to-day -day basis because anytime the landlord could show up and say, you know what, Facebook's not working out for us, we're going to close up shop. Then what are you going to do, people? Again, go to Google, type in the name of your podcast. I would love to hear where you rank, where you are, and how we can get you in the top six. Hey, it works. I'm doing stuff and it's working and I'd love, I would love to help you be found because again, nobody is not one listening here for Facebook mentioning my podcast. So if you're putting all of your trust in Facebook to be found for your podcast, you're not going to do very well and you need some help. So please reach out. I would love to have a conversation with you and work with you to be found on this beautiful, wonderful place called Google because it works. And I would ask you to try it yourself and see how it works for you. Type in Living the Next Chapter podcast into Google and let me know what you see. For me, top six are right there. Apple, my website, YouTube, Buzzsprout, Spotify, and Podchaser. Some thought for you today. As you build out your website, as you build out your show, I think you need a website for your podcast. That's my advice, and I can help you with that. Reach out. Let's have a conversation. Thanks for listening to The Daily Dave. More episodes coming. I really appreciate you guys. We're way over almost 6,000 listens for their podcast in a very short amount of time. Um, I know I don't like to brag about any types of numbers, but I know to some people they're like, that's not very many, Dave. Uh, for me, it's, it is because I'm connecting with great people around the world. And I'm happy if one person listened to the show. One. And if I can have a conversation with that one person, all of this is worth it. I'm not here to sell you a mattress. I'm here to help you with your podcast. Thanks for listening to the How to Podcast series and the Daily Dave. More episodes coming soon. Get out there and do a podcast. And I can help. Take care. Talk soon. Thank you for checking out the Daily Dave. We hope the podcasting tips and support you received added value and help you to get your message out there. Have your own tip to share with the How to Podcast family. Head over to our website and use the Speak Pipe Recorder right there on our site. Your 90-second message will be used right here on the show. Remember, the only person in this entire world that can create your podcast is you. It is your podcast. Do it your way, and if you need help, contact Dave on howtopodcast.ca. Thanks for listening.